In this video, we'll be covering readability from week 6 problem set 6. Alright, so how is readability going to work? It's basically the exact same thing as what we did on problem set 2. The user will enter a text and depending on Coleman layout index, we will be calculating the grade of the text entered by the user. Alright, so let's get started. Make directory. Alright, so here we have the readability.py file. So the first step is to use get string to get the user's input. Okay, so let's import CS50. Let's import get string. So from CS50, import get string. Alright, and now um, text. So text equals to get string text. Alright. Next step is gonna be to calculate to calculate the number of letters, words, sentences in our text. So how are we gonna do that? As for the number of letters, we can basically look through the entirety of the text and check for which of them are letters. So uh, we can use a for loop. So for uh, characters in text, okay? So what this is gonna do is basically just loop through every single character in our text and then we can check if um, the text if the specific character is an alphabet so for that right if you um, read through the notes they don't really go through how to do that so what you can do is uh, how to check if a character is a letter in python and then you can just like um, use what they told us here okay so there is an is alpha method that return true if uh, the characters are letters okay so yeah we can do something like that so if the characters dot is alpha um, is returning true then we know that it is a letter so we can letter plus equals one well, obviously before that we have to initialize our letters to zero so letter equals to zero and then we'll be incrementing the letter um, as soon as we find letters all right okay so that's uh, for letters the next words words they already told us how to do that which is basically um, sequence of characters separated by spaces should be counted as words so let's find spaces so now we can do l if characters is equals to space okay then we can basically um, space plus equals one okay so let's space equals to zero and then lastly we have to check um, for sentences so for sentences um, the occurrence of period exclamation point and question mark indicates the end of a sentence so we can do that l if character is um, equals to full stop or character is equals to question mark or character is equals to exclamation point then we know that it is the end of a sentence basically sentence plus equals one all right so let's initialize our sentence here as well to zero okay so we found letters sentences and then um, we found space right we have to convert this space to words and uh, to convert space to words is just space plus one so like for example there's two words here we have one space in between and we just have to add um, one to space so uh, words is equals to space plus one all right let me just fix sentences sentences uh, character just some typos here and there all right letters yes let me just add an s here and yeah that should be it all right so the next step is to calculate the coleman leo index all right so index is equal to um, 
you know what before that let's just calculate L and S so L is gonna be the average number of letters per 100 words so how we can calculate that is basically um, letters divide by words times 100 all right so that's L and then we have to find S which is gonna be equals to average number of sentences per 100 words so sentences divide by words um, times 100 and yeah then we can find the grade okay so it's grade gonna be equals to 0 0.0588 times L minus 0 0.296 times S minus 15.8 and this will be returning a floating point value and we will have to round the values either up or down so for that as well you can just google it how to round values in python and it'll give you the round function right so let's round okay so that should be it now let's print out so if it's um, more than 16 we print grade 16 plus less than one before grade one and so on okay so let's do that okay you know what we'll be rounding this off later on okay uh, because if we round it up round it too early on like for example if the value is close to one then you round it up to one so it won't be printing out before grade one so it might cause some issues so I'll just leave the rounding uh, up and down to later. So let's do that. So if grade is more than 16, then we print grade 16 plus. All right. And next L if grade less than one, then we print uh, before grade one. And lastly, else, um, just print grade, grade. All right, that should be it. Let's just run this code once to see if everything's fine. Python readability the pi. And let's test out oh yes and let me just run this before that or else we'll be printing um, decimal value so let's try this it should output grade 5 okay so something went wrong oh okay there you go okay grade 5 okay so why it gave decimal values is because I added the round um, after already running the program so it didn't work okay so now it should work let me just run check 50 to just make sure everything's fine all right so if you guys enjoyed this video hit the like button and subscribe if you guys have any questions comment down below and i'll try my best to help you guys out and see you guys on the next video Bye bye